Shadow Coast here and welcome to another episode. In this one we're playing Total Warhammer 2. We took Marcus on the Wolfheart. legendary Vortex campaign as Marcus Wolfhart. And you can see here we've uh, captured a fair amount of ground. Kind of worked my way up, taking on Hexodal, taking them out. So there's not too many factions left. Uh, but in this episode, we are going to fight the Battle of Itza, or for Itza, which is the final battle, um, an item we need to accomplish in our Alice campaign victory. So we're going to launch into this battle. I figured uh, some of you might be interested to see what this battle looks like. I have fought this as Nikai the Wanderer on my legendary campaign on that one, and I have beaten run. Wolfheart. Uh, so now we're taking on the other side. Now you can see here in my lineup, I have two steam tanks, a uh, Hellstorm missile rocket. Most of these units are, um, I think, at least, you know, rank 8 or higher. Um, I kind of ran out of enemies to fight, and I didn't want to take on the Tomb Kings and other factions to just get, you know, an extra rank. But I do recommend you want at least rank 7 or higher for all your units. Because um, it makes a big difference. They're going to have, you know, output a lot more damage um, and in general will be better. So you can see I'm bringing all of my hunters with me, all four of them. Uh, we did complete the quests for all of them except the Emerald Pools. And that's because to be able to get that, I would have had to take on, I think, the Lore Masters who Listen have up, about huntsman. 50 settlements. Too many and I didn't want to start another war. This abominable lizard and its savage attendants. Too many innocent settlers mauled to death and devoured. But no more. The so-called spirit of the jungle is no ghost. It is a thing of flesh and blood, just like the others of its monstrous kind that we have already seen and slain. It can be killed. I know you are afraid, but remember, fear is not a weakness. It will keep you as sharp as the weapons that you wield. It will keep you alive. Today, civilization will triumph over the dark wilderness. Man shall triumph over beast. Yes! So I have now fought this, fought this battle from... Wolfheart's viewpoint. So that is a change. So we're gonna get set up here. Actually, we want these guys on the outside. in the butt to get set up. Not sure why it's freaking out like that. Steam tank. So we're gonna want the steam tank. We're going to try to take out the Feral Saurus first. Um, and just trying to get everybody set up a little bit. Alright, so... We are going to buff our guys. And I wanted you to pin this guy down. There we go. I'm gonna focus fire down because he will disrupt our formation. down. I'm gonna send these guys outside. Alright, these guys already gotten 
a little bit bogged down. Come on. Gonna buff everybody. Let's try to get these guys out. Those guys are retreating. Steam tank is engaged. Alright, let's take this guy out. Alright. We do want to take out some of their monstrous units. Going to heal. Trying to get the demigriffs out of here. Let's get them moving. Now we do have reinforcements coming in, luckily. I think um, both sides are just the right side. Um, which is great. Now remember, this is just the first engagement. They have a lot more coming. So we're just trying to make sure uh, we save some ammunition. Bring you guys over here. And Demi Griff Knights over here. And you're gonna start focusing this guy down. Knights are keep getting stuck. Alright, our front line is a little bit of a mess. Steam tank can take those guys out. Alright, so we killed that leader. Got another Stegadon. We, we want to focus on their monstrous units and make sure that we're getting them, you know, working away at them, chipping away at them. Let's get this guy in here. Oh, why don't you move up a little bit? And. These guys spread out a little bit. Try to make sure we keep getting our buffs. Sending out some abilities. Alright, so. Doing okay. Could be doing a little better. We're gonna try to do a rear charge there. Our demigriff's doing ah, they got stuck again. All right, so these guys, we can swing over there a little bit. Okay, that guy's still alive. Let's put some hurt yes, on him. Alright, so let's start working on another hero over there. Buff him. Ah, oh, they got my steam tank. That's okay though. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna redeploy over here. Let's try to 
Alright, steam tank, we're gonna move you back while this guy apparently is not that trapped. So how's our right flank doing? So we've got him more or less engaged, so we're going to focus on our left flank here, keeping people spread out. Alright, so let's make a concerted effort to take this guy out. How we're doing health-wise. Alright, going to buff everybody. Ooh, demi groups, get out of there. No shoddy contraptions here. Yes. All right, I think we've more or less done a pretty good job. How many hit points? All right, we can start recharging. Let's see, if we can do an epic shot. Ah, didn't get it off. He's over here. I thought we took killed that guy. Alright, there's another there's some there's some large over here. So we're gonna start shifting back over to our right flank. Just make sure we're not leaving anything overly exposed. Okay, so I think we're good. We have one demi griff knight. <laughs> so, not the best. Alright, I know that guy's broken, he's not coming back. Alright, we're still doing well on ammunition, we have so many buffs. Bring our steam tank over here. All right, so our Hellstorm rocket battery. Um, <coughs> I don't think we need it as critical. Try to keep some of our. All right. So that's that, guys. Uh, if you come in, I recommend taking a bunch of huntsmen. Look at these buffs. The missile damage is 203, which is insane. Um, with with all the buffs, and that's. Um, Jorik, Grim, fully upgraded. They're all level 40. Uh, I took my time with this campaign because I was having fun. So that's that. Took out Nikai. Now on the other end, when I played Nikai, I did not record any of that. I should have recorded the final battle. Uh, but on that one, I think I had two Dread Saurians, like the giant these guys um, and that that one uh, was a lot harder I would argue than than this battle now I lost a bunch um, I'm okay with that uh, because it is the final battle the final cutscene the mighty protector of the jungle is nothing more than a hunter's trophy the land of the lizard men lies in ruin, conquered for the Empire. It is theirs to dominate and plunder, at least for now. There you go.
you have it. We won. So we have checked off Mission all our accomplished. campaign victories. We could do a domination victory, which I am not sure I want to do. So we're going to throw them in Grey Rock Point and the turn. And hopefully fast forward here. Nagran and Lothurn, eliminating them in the domination campaign. That and then the last defenders, which are these, you know, purple over here. The last defenders own this almost entire continent area. Um, this is uh, Lower Master, so Teclas owns this, and then Lothurn owns all of the the eye. The Nagaron. Um, has been kept fairly contained so they'd be relatively easy to take out although they do have a fairly strong uh, military presence uh, Malekith is level 40 saw him rampaging around a little bit so hopefully you found the uh, last battle for it's a interesting it's a fun campaign I do recommend this DLC I do think it's actually um, uh, a pretty good one so if you have any questions please feel free to post hopefully you found this enjoyable and i'll catch you in the next episode shadow coast out